Hello, everybody, and welcome to the April company update. Normally, this time of year, we would have annual meetings. As you are probably quite well aware, we had to cancel our uh, annual meetings due to travel restrictions and gathering uh, crowd size restrictions. So we're going to try to reschedule those as soon as possible. But until then, we are sending out a monthly update video like we have in past months. This one's just going to be a little bit longer because there's so much more information to get to you because we are saving it to do it in person and enjoy that. But can't do that for now and uh, it's, it's very regrettable. I hope everyone is able to stay safe and uh, it will practice their social distancing um, wherever you are. Uh, whether that's going around in communities, which hopefully you limited to none, except for uh, essential stops, and uh, at work, that uh, we're able to keep our, our space from one another um, inside of our offices and on the field, and that we are washing down the things that we handle over and over again, and that other people um, might be handling. So it's, uh, it's not easy, it's not a great time, uh, but it's uh, it important that we wash after that. One day I, I came home from work, on the sign, uh, come in the house uh, by the garage, said, wash your hands in the bathroom before you come in the house. So that's what I did. I went in, put out my jacket, I washed my hands, and then I go about the house, uh, hopefully, carefully. So I'm sure your families are doing similar type of things to make sure that you're continuing to be a safe environment. We also had to postpone all of our 100 year uh, celebrations. So we um, plan to make those up and when it's safe to travel again and when we can gather in, uh, in large groups, we get together in all three regions and celebrate. We're gonna celebrate three things. We're gonna celebrate the start of the new fiscal year and the excitement that that brings. We're gonna uh, really uh, celebrate turning 100. And uh, the 100 years that we've had the privilege of being um, in business and uh, we're very thankful. Everyone who made that possible, and we plan to celebrate it, but we're going to wait to do it. And the third thing is just we're going to celebrate the fact that we've been together in large groups again. It's be nice to get together and to see people in our um, company meetings and just to be able to, to do that. Um, so three things. New Year, 100, gather again. Um, so company update. What's going on in the uh, side of uh, Wilmer Electric? Well, let's start off with the uh, COVID-19 or uh, coronavirus um, update. Uh, we're still going strong. We're operating as a, as a business uh, pretty close to, to normal. Um, good year down a lot and it's shut down temporarily. And that's a huge interruption, especially inside of that region. That changes um, uh, how we do things. Uh, we've got a few other minor projects shut down. We've got a few projects that have closed off small sections. For example, the prison in uh, Carnes, we can no longer go inside. We can still work outside. Um, that'll also be the case of the job here in Lincoln. And we have one job only to close down to uh, get uh, sanitized before it started back up again just a few uh, days later. We've been able to keep nearly everybody working. And, and that's uh, something that we are very excited about. That we can keep people on the job, on the payroll, and we can work hard on that. I, I have to credit um, Steve Gardner, Drew Jans, all the general superintendents that have, that have put a lot of effort towards making sure we can keep as many people working at Walmart as possible and that we're going forward meeting the customer needs. We talk about being a company that is people making a difference for people and that truly is what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to reduce the amount of contact we have between ourselves and still continue on as a business. That's, that's what's important to us. And we're, doing, and we're doing a good job. If we're not, Contact me and let me know how we can do a better job at um, at those things. So I consider us lucky. Uh, one of the things I was part of a, a seminar with ABC, and uh, they, they said, "What do you take away from all this as a business thing?" And I said, I, "I take a lot of pride in the fact that uh, construction has been deemed as essential. Um, that most all of the jurisdictions and all the jurisdictions that we are in has come out and told us what we already know that construction is essential to keep our uh, country and our local communities going. So in order for schools to open up again in the fall, which is the, is the plan, we got to keep working at those schools. In order for the law enforcement and uh, the community there in Wright County in Buffalo, Minnesota to, to continue on, we have to continue to finish that job on time. 
The same thing down in Lawton at, uh, at Fort Sill. If that Army base continues and becomes to provide a place for national security, we have to continue on the project. Uh, Elgin schools, UNL, Altus Air Force Base, all things that are essential that happen. And World War II is a part of putting those together. We really, again, take great pride in being deemed that by all those relevance. Something we already knew and we're glad to have it. It's something that they brag about. So, um, our backlog is still good. Uh, last year, uh, Wilmer Electric had 123 um, co-workers at this time, back on April 1st of 2019. And today, we hired a, a new guy, Calvin Rowe, significant because he's the newest employee. And, and he starts on April 1st, 2020. We'll be at 140. So um, added 17 people here at Wilmer Electric. So we are a growing concern. Uh, hope you notice that. And yeah, we're going to try to continue to maintain that in our, in our backlog. Uh, we need to hire people. I um, hired a guy in Minnesota last week, a person in Lincoln last week and this week. So those are all good things. Uh, to recap last year, we had three goals, and those three goals were all accomplished. The first was a journeyman producing apprenticeship program. We redid our apprenticeship program. We refocused on doing that another way. Got a lot of great feedback, got a lot of other um, uh, Corrective feedback, I guess I would call it, and we made some improvements to it along the way. But it's been outstandingly received. Overwhelmingly, people say it's going very well for them. And uh, we know that it's going to be producing more training as we go forward. The second goal was about um, quality control procedures and close out documents and core processes for 90% of our electrical work. That's been accomplished. We have those processes in place. And we are out there executing and making sure that we're providing a quality product that meets our customer needs. The third one was we mapped a project flow from start to completion. And we did that. We finished that. We have a project flow thing that we're going to use going forward in educating both our customers and ourselves and the various people inside of World Electric. This is how our projects flow together. So a new year, new goals. Um, we're Big theme you'll hear from us this year is to establish uniformity or improve consistency across our projects, our regions, our departments. We want to see that once a month we find an inconsistency, take it down, and get ourselves consistent on how we do things on our job sites, how we approach people, how we um, deal with things going forward. We want to be consistent across all of our departments, regions, and projects. So the person sees Wilmer Electric as Wilmer Electric everywhere they go. The second goal is we want to enhance and form a knowledge and application of the project operating system. So if a Wilmer Electric way is being put in place, we want to make sure that everybody who is a foreman and aspires to be a foreman understands what those processes and procedures are. So we develop that and we're going to work on that. And uh, third is we need to increase our number of licensed electricians by 12 to create more opportunities of growth for everyone. Right now, just to do the projects that we have, we need four to six more journeymen. In order to grow in opportunities where we see there's going to be growth in this market, we need to get to 12. So we're busy doing that um, uh, throughout the company. We look forward to working with that. If you have somebody you want to refer to World Electric, um, more about that later in this um, this video, we have a referral a bonus program that we'd love to uh, get you involved with. We have rocks, we talk about those, the big projects um, that we do, uh, not chronological projects, but the big tasks that we're undertaking. Each quarter, we call those rocks, um, and there are things you have to set aside, time aside to get those accomplished. Um, there are five of the main corporate ones. Uh, one of them is to increase the journeyman prep class participation. We want uh, 10 or more people will be attending our journeyman prep class. That's our goal. We think that will go a long way towards helping us um, get 12 more journeymen. We, in some regards, I talked about referral plug but the truth is we don't need to refer anybody here. If we can take the people who are eligible for the test to pass the um, multiple test, we'll have the journeyman that we need, and we can bring in apprentices and roll them up underneath us. Again, the opportunities that I was talking about. Uh, the second one is apprenticeship um, 
the next uh, step for um, passing the exam, we're trying to develop a system inside of there where we can give a, a packet um, to apprentices when they when they reach their uh, uh, number of hours that they need in order to require, and that will help them in taking their dream of exam. So get people to go to the class and then get apprentices a packet that they can use to help them pass the exam. Um, the, the third one is developing and communicating uh, vendor best practices. Hard to work with our vendors to say, you know, this is what we want from our vendors uh, and where that consistency is in their service to us. Uh, working hard to, to work them there. Um, the fourth one is to use the project flow and development of a leader training um, system. Uh, you know, we've defined who we want to have come to that class. We have a one hour class um, that we have written and, and using the uh, Wilmer Electric Way or Project Flow. Is, is our is our curriculum there, and we're excited about that. And we're setting up a date uh, in the near future. We can teach that class for people who want to know more about how we do things here. Um, ourselves ingrained into to, to where we want to be and how we run each and every project. And then the final one is we want to um, finalize an operation structure. We recently um, talked about adding and did promote uh, Steve Gardner. Uh, Vice President of Operations, so we're working on what that staffing looks like and um, and what the support staff is now that we have one operations person, uh, three project managers, uh, what does it look like uh, company-wide to go through that process. So, that taken care of. so and all good rocks, all those rocks lead toward the other goals, and uh, we're excited to work on them in the next few months. The um, video, again, I said I, I apologize for being a little long, but we have a lot of information to give out because normally we do it on an annual meeting. Uh, we have three more segments for it. One is Justin's got some updates and encouragements on our benefit programs. We also have Steve Gardner coming by to talk about um, an update on journeyman exam prep and what we're doing to change some of the benefits around journeyman prep. And that's exciting news. And uh, Trista will be here with a typical employee update. I apologize for using the word exciting so much, um, but I find this exciting, and I should have, you know, maybe got with the forest and use words like thrilling, invigorating, other things, but I didn't. So, excuse me for that. Uh, without further ado, Justin, Steve, and Trista will take it away, and I will just say thank you for all the help you give us and giving us this tough time, and thank you for all the help you give us in just on a regular basis. It takes a lot of us to make this organization on, and we're all doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Have a great day. Hey, everybody. Steve Gardner here to talk about some changes to our fifth year exam prep class that happens every Tuesday afternoon at 5 o'clock. Uh, that's the class that Jay and Brandon have been putting on to help people prepare for the exam, and so far it's going very well. Um, we have pretty much 100% rate of people that are taking the test on a regular basis or passing their exams. So that's super positive. Uh, some changes we'd like to announce are if you are a fifth year apprentice and eligible to be in the class, um, we are going to, and you've taken the class for up to eight sessions, we'll pay for your wages the day that you take the exam. Um, we'll also pay for the cost of the exam um, because the prep class is paid for by Walmart Electric. We'll pay for the cost of the exam. Uh, also, if you have $7,500, which means you're about a three and a half year apprentice, um, you are eligible to start attending the class. So that kind of leads you up to taking uh, the exam itself. And then the other change that we made relates to your CE. Uh, if you do fall into the fifth year category and you're not currently involved in the uh, apprentice training program through Wilmer Electric, uh, the fifth year exam prep course is a part of your mandatory CE going forward. Uh, and that will be five CE hours are required to be in this class. Our goal is to um, produce journeymen, and that's, that's you guys that are out there, and we want you to be journeymen because it helps you, it helps the company, kind of helps everybody. So we want to get you in the class uh, that is a proven journeyman producer, and that's our class. So again, we'll pay your wages to take the exam. We will pay the cost of the exam itself once you pass, and um, it is going to be a 
requirement for CE going forward. So again, get in the class, attend eight sessions, and those benefits start to kick in. So have a great day. Hi, Justin Chapin. I'm going to talk to you today about three different benefits that Wilmer Electric has. I'm going to talk about the 401k program, the volunteer program, and then a change to the PTO program. First of all, the 401k, the auto increase that we typically do in April, we've delayed that. Uh, we mentioned it in a newsletter. It's going to be delayed indefinitely as we await uh, the end of this uh, COVID-19 uh, emergency that we're in the middle of. More on that will come in the coming weeks and months. The next one is the volunteer program. Wilmer Electric has had a volunteer program for many years and it's not changing. I'm just reminding you about it. Uh, one way to get an extra eight hours of PTO is for you to volunteer 100 hours throughout the year from October through September. You can do that by coaching or by volunteering at church, volunteering with uh, scouting or Meals on Wheels, school board member. There's lots of different ways of volunteering. Uh, there's a form that you can fill out through the Human Resource Department. You can get that from Trista Sealander, and uh, she then compiles the hours for you and makes sure that you have them all right, and then we'll give you the extra eight hours that's typically used on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, where you get an extra eight hours of PTO. The last one that I was gonna talk about today is a change to our PTO program. Uh, starting here in April, we're changing the accrual, and uh, we'll have this sheet here available to people in the near future. Uh, what it says is that our change is the journeymen are going to start accruing 80 hours of PTO immediately upon hire. And after five years of service, then they will graduate to 120 hours of PTO. After 20 years, they will graduate to the 160 hours. Uh, so that's a faster accrual system for the journeymen who are joining us. If you have joined us in the past and you aren't yet at those different levels, you will automatically be increased to the new level. And uh, you should see that in your paychecks here in, in April, you're getting PTO faster. Uh, for apprentices, it's uh, not changing the start date. You're gonna remain at 40 hours. And after one year, we'll go up to 80 hours and you'll stay at 80 hours until you pass your journeyman's exam. And that's another incentive that we have in order to um, have people pass their test and become licensed. If you're already in a different or uh, a higher level of PTO accrual than that because you've been here for a long time, we're not going to change it. We're not going to decrease your hours um, that you're accruing at, but we won't also graduate you to a new one. You'll go into this new system and we'll maintain where you're at until you pass your exam. If you have questions on that, you can contact Trista. Again, in the Human Resource Department, she'd be happy to answer your questions. And again, we'll make this available to you in the near future. Hope you're all having a great day and you're being safe. Thanks. Hi, we are here today for our April update and we are under unusual circumstances. So I am currently doing this on a via Zoom um, recording. So uh, bear with us as we move forward. Um, I wanted to highlight the uh, anniversaries here in April. And so um, in Nebraska, we have Brian Baxter who will be celebrating five years with us on April 13th. We have Tyra Epp who will be celebrating five years with us as well on April 18th. We have Lewis Bowman and Lee Freudenberg as well celebrating in Nebraska, both on April 21st. Lewis will have been here four years and Lee Freudenberg will have been here six years. And then we move to Minnesota. And in Minnesota, we have Aaron Wilson, who on April 18th will have been here four years. And also in Minnesota, uh, for the month of April, we have Brian Ringenberg, who on April 22nd will have been here one year. Again, thank you for your work here in Minnesota and in Nebraska. And then we move to anniversaries in Oklahoma. In Oklahoma, we have David Schmidt, who will be here one year on April 1st. Um, Chad Loosby, who will be here one year on April 8th. Chris Jans, who will be here eight years on April 16th. 
Andrew Crow, who will be here three years on April 24th, Tom Rogers, who will be here nine years on April 25th, and Nick's, Nick Maxwell, who will be here three years on April 27th. And those are the anniversaries that we have for April um, this, at this time. Now we do actually have two new hires in during this last month of March, and we have Jace Bryant and Calvin Rowe, who are both starting as apprentices in Lincoln, Nebraska. So welcome to those two. Um, and then again, one of the things I wanted to quickly highlight and talk to you about is updating your information, your personal information in Procore. So if you're a Procore user, if you can go to your settings in Procore and update the information and review it to make sure that it's all accurate, um, and make sure that your, um, your phone number is in there correctly, if it's changed, or an email address is in there correctly, this is how our foreman, how our um, general superintendents, how our project managers are able to get in contact with you um, by easy by easily looking at Procore. So if you can go in there and do that, that would be great. If you have questions in regards to how to do that, please contact your um, foreman or your general superintendent and they will be able to help you with that. If you have other questions, always please feel free to contact us. Um, we are still up and operating and fully um, functional at this point in time. We thank you for all the work that you've been doing um, out in the field and we look forward to another great month.